The Quran mentions Isa is far removed from shirk. According to a hadith in Sahih Muslim, when Isa returns, he will break the cross and abolish jizya. Is it because the true followers of Jesus will obey him and accept Islam? Well, first of all, we have to ask the question, and it's painful for me to ask it, because so many people simply do not want to do their homework. No, they just don't want to do their homework. I have to do their homework for them. I have to answer all their questions. They just would not do their homework. Did the religion of Islam come with Nabi Muhammad Wasallam, Deen of Islam. Did it come for the first time in the world with Muhammad Wasallam? They're afraid to answer that question. Because from the time they answer that question, their whole world of knowledge begins to collapse. <laughs> the deen of Islam came to the world for the last time, the last time with Muhammad Wasallam, And it is shocking to them to hear that. So there were people who followed the deen of Islam long before Nabi Muhammad Wasallam came. Okay? And while many of them turned away from the deen of Islam, the Quran confirms that amongst them there were those who were still following the deen of Islam. So woe unto those who say, every single one of them is a kafir. Woe unto them. We part company. <laughs> we part company from such rubbish. The deen of Islam is something that we share. That we who follow Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, we share the deen of Islam with others, amongst whom are those who follow Nabi Isa alayhi salam. When Nabi Isa alayhi salam returns, he will correct whatever mistakes they are making. But they have been following the deen of Islam. He doesn't have to give them the deen of Islam for the first time, you dum-dum. They are already following the deen of Islam, but they were making mistakes. And so when he returns, every single one of them who follows him, I'm not talking about followers of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, because we don't follow Jesus. The Muslims, the followers of the deen of Islam that came with Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, we are not followers of Jesus. No. We never were and we will never be. We are followers of this Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. And when he returns, he does not come to us. No. He's coming to his ummah, not to us. He is coming to Banu Israel. Allah said that in the Quran. But you don't want to turn to the Quran for guidance. So what can I do? Ya Bani Israel, Inni Rasulullahi ilaykum. I am the messenger of Allah to you. Rasul and ila Bani Israel. This is the Quran. And of course, there are two terms, synonymous. One is Banu Israel and the other is Ahlul Kitab. Ahlul Kitab. So when Nabi Isa alayhi salam returns, all those of the Ahlul Kitab who follow him, who would not be a people who say that a man could marry another man and get a stinking marriage certificate. No, those are not his followers. When he returns, then he will correct them and declare to them, and they'll accept it, that Muhammad, Allah's blessings be upon him, is a prophet of Allah. And they will all accept it. And secondly, that the Quran is the word of Allah. And they will all accept it. All of them.
There will not be a single one of them of the Ahlul Kitab who will not accept that the Quran is the word of Allah and that Muhammad alayhi salatu was is the messenger of Allah. But they don't have to enter this ummah. No? They are in Islam already. They are already in Islam. They do not have to enter our ummah. No. So they will follow their Nabi. Even though they accept Muhammad alayhi salatu as a messenger of Allah. Every single one of them. And they accept the Quran as the word of Allah. Every single one of them. They will continue to follow their Nabi and we will follow our Nabi. And so history will end with two ummahs. The ummah of Nabi Isa alayhi salam. And the Ummah of Muhammad and there will be love and affection between us. But my critics can't swallow that. <laughs>